Hey guys, welcome back. This is Deepesh from Freshersworld.com. Today we'll be seeing higher order functions. So basically the last video explains you the basics of functions like how we can pass the parameters and what's the return type of the function. In this we'll be seeing more complex operations on functions because this is the most important interview questions on functions in Kotlin. So now I'll try to create a new function that returns me something. So basically if I create uh, a function return string so I create a function return string and the work of this method is just to return me a string. Now how do I declare the return type? I told you like we just put it after the function name so I want to return string so I can return a string like the page. So now this method just returns me uh, a string value so I can just show you by printing out it here so I can say print ln and say return string. So what does this return? This returns me a string dpesh. So let's see the output. So now we have just seen what this function is returning, how to add return type to a function. So we are just returning a string. So we have one special class called any. So we'll be exploring what is any uh, in Kotlin, which is very important interview question. Hey candidates, you must have heard about Relevel many times from our videos and many of you have also applied for the free test. Here, companies like Quaid, Yatra and Misho hire eligible candidates. Coming August 18th, Relevel will be one year old. And here are some highlights of this amazing platform in this one year. 1100 plus offers have been rolled out so far. It is much more than what any single IAT or IAM has to offer. The maximum CTC offered is 40 LP. Till today, more than 800 companies have hired from Relevel, and now Relevel offers best in industry courses in addition to their test. Yes, this means you have access to a platform that will help you upskill and then ensure that you get the job you finally deserve. And in this whole process, nobody will ask you for your degree or previous experience. All you have to do is fill out a single form on the platform. You will then be assigned a counselor who will help you make the best decision of your career. Now, let us look at the story of a Relevel course learner, Pranay. After working for five years in the Merchant Navy, he was planning to move to a new career amidst pandemic. After searching for a lot of opportunities, he was finally enrolled for Relevel's business development course. Even before the completion of the course, he took a Relevel test, passed it and got a BDE job in Lomos Enterprises. Relevel has raised its game and now you have your chance to get a job in the best companies of India. Whether you are a fresher, working professional, then want to get a job after career break, all you have to do is sign up on Relevel and register for the test. So what are you waiting for? Upskill yourself with courses cheaper than any other upscaling platform. Go and fill out the Relevel course form today. All the best. So basically instead of uh, defining it as a string and you don't know what this might return so it can be an object. So basically any is similar to an object in Java. So instead of passing it as string, I, if I say it has any, it can take any return type. So I can pass the page that is a string value and let's see the output. So it just takes string and it re returns me string so i can also pass integer so the any is capable of handling all the objects so it considers everything as an object rather than a data type so that's very important interview question so if you want to pass uh, an object in kotlin like you can use any so it's a super class of all the classes so now let's print we can see one two three four five so you don't have to explicitly say that you are passing you are returning a string or an integer so any is a class which takes care of all of it so the other point in kotlin is like you can pass functions as an argument so basically what i'm trying to talk here is like uh, i'll just revert back this to string so now i know that uh, my return string is returning me a, so the return string is returning me my name so i just change it again to the page so in Kotlin we can pass a function as an argument so we'll I'll be showing you how exactly we do that so suppose I want to create a method that is fun print my name print my name I want to call this print my name in my main method now before we used to pass string integer but now i want to pass this function as an argument that's what i was talking about so you can pass function as an argument 
in Kotlin. So now what should be the argument in my print my name? So I can just declare it has like a name, which is of type. So what is the return type of this? This is returning me string, right? So I can declare it has string. So now I can print ln the name. So in Kotlin, we can pass a uh, function names has an argument. So the return type of my method return string is string. So I'm just uh, taking that as an argument. So because it returns me string, right? It's returning me string. So basically I can pass functions as an argument in Kotlin. This is very, very, very important interview question. So now I run this, you can just see like, now we have the page. So basically what's happening, it's going to return string and it's returning me a string. So now it passes me a string to this method. So now one important thing that you guys have to notice here is I can pa I can make this has any. So it doesn't matter like, uh, you know, any as I told you is a super class and it, it considers everything as an object. So you can use any. So one important interview question is in using functions, you can pass methods as an argument. So any is a super class which considers everything as an object. So these are most important interview questions in Android. So we have seen how to pass a method as an argument in the function. So now we'll be getting onto the control flows in Kotlin in the upcoming video. Thank you so much.